What if we start with your wife and why she signed the committal papers? Yeah, I might as well tell you the truth. I couldn't commit myself to this joint, so I had her sign a bunch of papers. She didn't know what was in them, but she signed them. One was the commitment order, and tomorrow, my lawyer is going to be coming here with the release order. So what you are saying is that you don't think you needed to be committed. Only to get a little piece of paper signed that I got. To get a little piece of paper signed. By anyone in particular? Well, I don't think that concerns you. Well, just curious. Why do you need that paper signed? To stop my mama's husband from teaming up with my worst enemy against me. Oh, I see. You know, we've never discussed your paranoia. You are paranoia. This feeling that people are out to get you. Did you feel that way about your wife? What the hell are you talking about? What is it that people are trying to do to you? They're trying to take Ewing all away from me. Hell, they all hate me. Is that paranoid? They say if people really hate you, you're not paranoid. <laughs> is something funny going on here I can't see? No, regrettably, in your case, it may be serious. Doctor, I hate to say this, but you're not making a hell of a lot of sense. Well, perhaps I can make myself more clear for you. Yeah, I'm sure you can, but you can save us both a lot of time if you just call my lawyer in Dallas. His name is Walter Berman. Tell him I got the paper signed and for him to get out here today. And he'll show up with the release signed by the judge who committed you. Yeah, that's right. You got it. And one other thing about my daddy. He's the only person to ever call me Junior. And I was damn proud of that. And why are you telling me that? Because this is probably the last time we're going to meet. And I just wanted to set the record straight. Well, thank you, Mr. Ewing. I appreciate that. Well, until your attorney shows up, suppose I have someone take you back to your ward. Oh, I know the way. Yes, doctor. Would you take Mr. Ewing back to his ward and stay with him for a while, will you, Harris? Yes, sir. Come on, Mr. Ewing. Do yourself a favor, doctor. Call my attorney. Of course. After you've gone. Well, all right, don't call him. But when he shows up tomorrow, you'll wish you had. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>